What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope y'all have an amazing day as usual. So today we're going to be looking at the top 10 worst places to live in in Massachusetts. But before we get into today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and always comment down below. It really, really helps out with the videos. Let's get it. Massachusetts. It's a very, very interesting state, to say the least. Known for its great schools, really smart people, mountains, and ruthless sports fans, and really good seafood. Massachusetts also has some issues. It's known for high taxes and really rude people. That's why they call them mass holes. And did I forget to mention the accent? Yeah. Massachusetts is not all great, actually. You'd be surprised. There are a lot of bad places in Massachusetts. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So today we're going to be looking at the top 10 worst places to live in in Massachusetts. So let's take the car to the bar. And then we're going to go to Fenway Park to watch the bees and the pats. Um, and we're going to go grab some Dunks to go. That's short for Dunkin' Donuts as we look at the top 10 worst places in Massachusetts for 2021. Number 10, Fitchburg. So Fitchburg is a town located in northern Massachusetts, not too far away from um, Boston. Now, there's a lot of issues in Fitchburg. Now, sure, it's in the mountains and it's very pretty up here for most of the year. It's also a really terrible place to live as well. Poverty is an issue in Fitchburg where most people make around fifty to $45,000 a year. Now that's not terrible, but still a lot of people are living in poverty. Crime is an issue and so are drugs. This town has been plagued by lots of major issues over the years and apparently the schools are dirty. That's not good. Yeah, that's really terrible. And combine that with a really high unemployment rate and a downtown with a bunch of abandoned storefronts and you have one lousy place to live. On the live. bright side, there's lots of pretty mountains in the area, so that's good. Number nine, Worcester. Worcester, or Wor Worcester, as they call it, is one of the largest cities in the state. It's located kind of in the middle of Massachusetts. Now, Worcester sucks. Straight up. Now, it's not terrible, but the really high poverty rate is definitely not a good thing, and there's trash all over the place, and it's not a good place to live. You would not want to live in Worcester, or Worcester, or whatever it's called. Um, and in addition, unemployment rates and crime make Worcester a terrible place to live. It's not somewhere in Massachusetts you want to live. Plus, the homes are old. And ugly. How terrible is that? On the bright side, Worcester, or Worcester, whatever it's called, is where they make Polar Seltzer. So that's good. It's a really good seltzer brand. I highly recommend it. Great flavors. Number eight, North Adams. So North Adams is located in the mountains near the Vermont border. And while that sounds appealing, eh, don't let it fool you, North Adams is a terrible place to live, and many people in Massachusetts know it. It's a dangerous place filled with drugs and that's not it. Unemployment rates are very high. The median household income is a low $40,000 a year. And people here are just not making enough. The education is not a priority here either. Now on the bright side, North Adams has a really, really nice downtown. So, and you're right next to Vermont and there's mountains in the area. So maybe North Adams is not doesn't deserve to be on this list, but it kind of does. Number seven, Chelsea. Chelsea is located right outside of Boston. Now, Chelsea sucks. There's a lot of reasons why. First of all, the, po the poverty rate here is not terrible, but you have to realize this place is really expensive, and it's not worth the price. Many homes are not maintained, and people live practically on top of each other here. People claim it's very crowded, and there's trash all over the street, and that there's sketchy people everywhere, and drugs? That's just terrible. Plus, the schools here are not good. Many people in Chelsea can't speak English, and this place is just a dying city. Drugs have really took a toll on Chelsea. Sure, it's close to Boston, but there are far better choices in the Boston metro area than Chelsea. This town could certainly use some TLC. On the bright side, Chelsea has a train that can take you straight to Boston, so if you're com a commuter, then maybe you'd want to look into Chelsea. Number six, Holyoke. So Holyoke is located in the Springfield metro area and is conveniently located near Springfield, but that's just about where the good news ends. Holyoke is rough. Now it's a lot of crime here and a lot of poverty. The median household income is a low $40,000 a year 
and many people are unemployed. The homes are not maintained, and the fact that there's boarded up homes on almost every other block makes this place far less than desirable. So that's just terrible. Honestly, it looks like the south side of Chicago, literally. Actually, it looks worse than the south side of Chicago. Wow. What do you have to say, Holyoke? That is not good. After reading some positive reviews, this person says, I have been living here for about four years. I love it. It's quiet, a neighborhood, and friendly neighbors. No, it's not. That is fake news. Stop writing fake reviews. Number five, New Bedford. New Bedford, or New Bedford, as they call it, is located on the buzz Buzzard Bay, and it's on the coast of Massachusetts. Uh, so that's nice. What's not nice is the really high crime rate here. There's a major issue with crime here in New Bedford. Poverty and unemployment's not much better. Drugs are bad and schools are certainly underfunded. It's not a great place to live. That's On the sure. bright side, the city has plenty of history, so that's really good. Number four, Lawrence. On the bright side, Lawrence has some great shopping and lots of things to do, so that's really Number good. Number three. Fall River. So, Falls River is located um, right on uh, the Rhode Island border. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I should not move to Fall River. There's lots of poverty here, and the median household income is relatively low for Massachusetts. Drugs are an issue, schools are bad, and crime is high. There's always some kind of crime happening in Fall River. There's not enough I guess, programs for the youth here, and this is why the city is as bad as it is. Now, on the bright side, on the bright side, Fall Rivers has one of the biggest battleships in the country, so that's good. Number two, Springfield. So, Springfield is located in western Massachusetts, and it's one of the largest cities in the state, and that's about where all the good news ends. Springfield is dangerous. It's a fact that Springfield, Massachusetts is the most dangerous place in the state. And the poverty rate's relatively high. Many people make about $30,000 a year. In Massachusetts, it's very low. Yet it's still pretty expensive, which is terrible. It's one of the most undesirable places in the state you can live in. And it's one of the only places in Massachusetts where people are leaving like crazy. On the bright, on the bright side, Springfield is where they invented basketball, one of my favorite sports. So that is awesome. The worst city in Massachusetts is, drum roll please, da 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 dum. It is Brockton. Of course, Brockton is the worst place in the state. I mean, come on. Brockton is terrible. The reason why Brockton ranks so bad is because of all their statistics. I mean, literally, every bad statistic in Massachusetts, Brockton ranks in the top 10 for crime, poverty, terrible education, low test scores. It's dirty. It's dangerous. Everything about Brockton is bad. And this is by far the worst place to live in in Massachusetts. So there you have it. Those are the top 10 worst places to live in in Massachusetts. And if you're a mass hole, you're probably going to write a rude comment. But that's okay because just go to the bar and you'll feel better or have a lobster roll or some beer or get some clam chowder. Okay, I'm done messing with you. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Now, if of course, if you live in one of these places, we don't mean to make fun of you. You know, I'm sure your cities are struggling, but there's ways you can help. You can always do something you can donate to a charity, adopt a puppy, or help someone out. And if you don't have money to do those things, you can simply send thoughts and prayers. You can go to church. You can do anything. There's lots of things you can do to change your community. I have faith in you. I mean, come on. I mean, you live in these places and you know how bad it is. Maybe you should do something. Anyways, that's going to be for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe. God bless to all you guys.